saw the 84 sideways and that was pretty much that but um, I saw him going down the track and so I went up and um, it was just a quick split second decision you just go right or left and so um, and they ended up bouncing back up off another track so it is what it is I mean Daytona is one of those races to where you either finish in the top 10 or you end up on, on the trailer home so you seem really competitive and racy there in that first stage. Does it kind of sting more knowing that that truck was like a possibly winning truck? Yeah, I think it hurts even worse than any of them have because of the fact that we were running really good. Um, I felt like my, my truck uh, had killer speed, had ran good with uh, some of the other guys, and I just think that could have had a good one. But that's, I mean, super speedway racing. You can't really, no matter, a lot of people have a good truck or good car here and end up in one. The communication with Andy and Ridge seemed really good there. I know it's just one stage. What was that like? Yeah, it was great. All those guys, we've been doing a lot of work together during the off-season and just getting to know each other, getting to know each other's style um, of how they talk, kind of what they want from me um, during these races and kind of what to expect. And I think we've all set some really good goals and I was really looking forward to showing my ability, but uh, I think I kind of came into this weekend uh, mindset that if it goes good, great. If it doesn't, don't let it affect the rest of the season. And so for me, where we really see is kind of Vegas. How is it working with your teammates this weekend? It's awesome. I love my new teammates. They're they're great. They're super helpful. Um, you can tell it's a very tight team um, uh, organization. And so uh, I worked with Ben of Emsa Race, and he was great, and he's a great teammate. And they've all been super open with information and just wanted to help me, which is really nice. I didn't really have anywhere to go, but how do you feel after the hit? Uh, how how intense was it? Uh, it was fine. Not, not one of the bad ones. So I'd say I've had worse. When did you see the car, uh, truck was on fire? Because it seemed like you were trying to go back to pit road um, and then had to stop to the Yeah, players. it was when I uh, when they called the red flag. I was down in the middle of three and four on the apron, and one of the um, fire and safety guys came over, and he was looking under the truck, so I guess it was leaking some oil or something, and uh, he saw a small fan flame, but nothing that I could see. So. Any races yet? Hey, everyone. Zane Smith, driver number 38 Ford for Front Row Motorsports. Be sure to subscribe to Front Stretch on YouTube.